hi guys in this section we will be discussing about the enterprise continuum and the reference model but to understand the enterprise continuum we will be taking a deep dive a little more on the building blocks on the uh, architecture building blocks the SBBs which is solution building blocks and then we will see how these all are related to uh, the reference model and uh, how our enterprise continuum is formed and what is the view of the architecture repository called and all those things okay now to start with a model for structuring a virtual repository and methods for classifying architecture and solution artifacts are based on architecture and solutions right so generally what we store will be models patterns architecture descriptions the deliverables that are produced in any kind of iteration from the adm side and uh, so basically all these things you put into the architecture repository so we are discussing at this point in time about enterprise continuum and enterprise continuum consists of architecture continuum and the solution continuum now we will go uh, step by step that how this architecture continuum or solution continuum can be used okay now to understand that remember the enterprise continuum consists of all kind of architecture assets like when i say all kind of architecture assets it means it can have models patterns architectures and their descriptions okay so if you see a generic model what is uh, a generic model togaf trm is a generic model we will talk about togaf trm also uh, say apart from togaf uh, if you have heard about jackman is a generic reference model which you may be following in your organization based on what practices you are doing so those reference model you can keep in the enterprise continuum as a larger view okay then you can keep it specific model like uh, you are following a web service architecture okay and you want to uh, uh, implement uh, the soap services as well as the rest services but you want to put those specific models and the architecture standards into your continuum so this is the larger view of the continuum and inside that continuum you want to uh, keep a uh, web service uh, driven architecture or a uh, uh, soa driven architecture you can keep so it specific model or generic uh, model which you are following to derive into those it specific model you will be keeping into the enterprise continuum then um, say you can also keep uh, something like industry specific models say for example you in whatever uh, position you are or whatever industry you are working say for example we are uh, in the use case we are discussing about insurance company right in some of you may be working in the banking domain some of you may be in the healthcare some of you may be in the um, uh, say supply chain management or any any specific domains doesn't matter but depending upon where you are working on what you are working you will be taking something from the industry standard and then start forming this continuum now how will this continuum form before we go to the uh, how this continuum is forming i want to take some simple example or i will say we will be refreshing few particular things on the building blocks as well as architecture um, uh, building blocks and the solution building blocks then we will relate the enterprise continuum and architecture repository and then the reference model all together okay 
now let's go to the next slide now in this slide what i am can you recognize this what is this most of you must have seen this in the cd player right so whenever you are running a cd player you must have seen this particular interface which we are using now how do the interface look like the interface will be looking like this the components and this is a symbol of interface okay now winmap wmp quicktime or vlc so vlc is uh, very uh, still it is in proper use so this particular cd player is exposing an interface which will be consumed by chrome internet explorer opera safari anything so basically this interface is round and this symbol means this is an uml diagram and this one is able to consume this right now so what are these these are the building blocks remember this okay these are the building blocks while defining the interfaces what needs to be followed right then chrome looking at those building blocks started consuming the media transporter say for example chrome and all these interfaces what we are seeing all these components basically what we are seeing say have seen this as a implementation now this implementation they want to put in safari opera internet explorer and chrome so this is a standard which has been exposed and these standards will be consumed by each of this safari opera internet explorer and chrome in the similar way so there is a standard which has been followed to reach to this level so that this all can be consumed so what are this these are again the building blocks for the consumptions okay so building blocks for the consumption and building blocks which are exposed as an interface just to remember that how building blocks we are, we are doing this just to remember the building how building blocks and abbs or sbbs are related okay now when i say that there is clearly some relationship between abbs and sbbs which you need to understand so what is this abb a abb is simply the specification of the solution so when you are defining the architecture in the very high level you are defining a specification where you are saying you need an http server web server okay now that is what you are doing as a specification and then when you are going to the solution level you are doing the sbbs solution building blocks what what is that solution building blocks it can be your apache http server it can be apache tomcat server it can be jt it can be oracle http server right so in the solution label you actually decides what is that you have to implement from the specification right so an sbb is the implementation of the abb so sbb is the implementation of abb basically the graph goes from here to the arrow goes from here to here right so that is what you need to remember now let me tell you if you want to see this in much lower level you can see that based upon that specification jboss is one application server 
and GlassFees is another application server. Now, this application server, based upon the specification, whatever the specification says, what is the specification? This is the ABB is the specification. Based on the specification, what SBV is manifesting from that specification is the artifact what you are getting, which is the architecture repository which you will be forming, right? So that is actually having JBoss HTTP, a message broker, and an app server. What is GlassFace having? It is also having the GlassFace HTTP, GlassFace messaging, and GlassFace app server. So that is the primary relation between the SBBs and ABBs. That is what you need to remember. So how the SBB and ABBs look like? So this is your instance of your organization. You are sitting here. This is your organization. Now your organization have the SBBs implemented. How the SBBs has been implemented? based upon the ABBs that was done in the high level. So, it is the specification. This is what you are making as a solution and the instance of the solution is what your organization generally use. Okay. Just remember this and let's move to the next section. Now, what is the from uh, this you can understand that all these things basically we are storing somewhere right especially this is the area what we keep on storing in our repositories we will come to the point how enterprise continuum architecture repositories are related but up to this abbs sbbs and building blocks are clear to you let's move to the next section now in this section what we are representing here is the enterprise continuum part of it right now this ec means enterprise continuum and the diagram goes remember it goes from left to the right okay so you start here then you go here then you go here and finally you go to the organization specific things okay so that is what you need to remember now say for example what as i said just few minutes back you were working in banking or someone is working in insurance someone in healthcare someone in um, uh, uh, supply chain or someone in retail it can be anything right so depending upon that let us now take an analogy and start finding out how that analogy can fit into this now uh, let us think we have a closet okay we have a closet in this closet you have your dresses your watch, your um, office ID cards, some books, and a lot of other things, okay, which you are keeping in the closet. Now, when you are keeping all these things in the closet properly, if you are arranging those, then you know you are good with the closet and every time you want to search something in the closet you go say one two three you know everything is properly arranged in your closet so for time being imagine this closet is the enterprise continuum okay so what this enterprise continuum contains is the four different things now these four different things we can see one as foundation architecture the second one is common system architecture industry architecture and organization specific architecture right now when i say 
there are four things which resides in my closet these are the four things which resides in the closet of enterprise continuum right now we need to know what are these what is a foundation architecture what is a common system architecture what is an industry architecture and what is an organization specific architecture now let us relate that also how to relate now in the where will we come from in this case let us start from our organization so that we can relate what we do in our organization now say for example you have you are implementing a particular project where you need some reference architecture some standards or models when i say standards it can be uh, uh, say for example okay first you consider you are in insurance industry because our use case is based on insurance so let us take an example of insurance industry now me as an organization when i'm working in this organization i have been asked to work in, in an insurance or uh, insurance project how what is the starting point if it is a greenfield project where which means there was no project before earlier to this where insurance project has been done or if it is not a greenfield project how to approach that i will say after some time now for time being consider that you are in a greenfield project where you are starting from scratch and now you are in insurance domain because our use case is insurance domain let us take it as an insurance domain at the moment okay so when i want to work in a project which is insurance related how will i start the starting point is to go to the industry architecture okay so what i will do is i will go and see what are the standard available in the industry for insurance okay so i will see okay there is a standard named as accord which is an industry standard okay accord this is little bit dirty but accord is the term okay so now accord has defined some standard based on which i can develop the messaging standard of my insurance industry based on the accord insurance standard i can start looking at my project or product from the insurance specification level okay so i start picking up the building blocks from the industry architecture so this is a accord is just an example of the standards which you can pick up from the industry standard okay so this is the insurance industry i am sitting in this organization i am going and looking into the industry architecture to find out what are the available standards of insurance and which one i should follow i start looking at accord in the first place now the second part of it what we have to now do i got my standards but how will i progress with those standards now when i go to the technical level what i will do in the technical level i start looking not only in the technical part of it it can be project management when we governance it can be length and breadth of the architecture anything right anything and everything now when i start looking into this you can relate that with the common system architecture now what is that common system architecture say for example you want to do a messaging technology a web service technology or you want to follow pmp in the project management area or agile in the project management area or you want to do a soa reference okay and to do that you need to get a standard from the industry 
so that is the common standard or common system architecture which is defining those what you will get say for example uh, for a web service you will get certain specification that needs to be followed for messaging there will be certain specification that needs to be followed so you start looking at this so in bare minimum what you need to look into this when you are looking for web service will be you need to publish a client i mean you need to publish a api and somebody should be consuming that so a client and server will be always required in that particular case and between this client and server there should be a contract so in the common system architecture whatever you are defining you will be defining taking the common system standard okay so from organizational level now to start with i know i have the industry standard i have the common system architectures to follow say for example just for time being consider it is web service and messaging with some agile uh, framework like scrum or uh, safe which you are taking okay and you are going back now what is left out there is another thing to look into is the foundation architecture what is the foundation in the foundation architecture you will be having desktops protocols and i will talk a lot about foundation architecture in this particular section only just to give you a more in depth idea of togaf trm togaf trm is an example of the foundation architecture which talks about more from the platform perspective as well as um software space so both the application platform space and application software space trm and in that trm also we will see another classification which is triple i rm uh which is also very important to know and uh, let's not deviate now so for now to understand the foundation architecture contains the desktop the protocols uh, that needs to be followed so basically when i started this particular slide i said that you have to move from the left to the right so basically when you are going to the organization specific architecture you are basically starting from foundation architecture then you are reaching to the common system architecture industry architecture and then organization specific architectures and architecture ranges from foundation architecture through the common system architecture and industry architecture to your own organization specific architecture so remember this left to right meeting enterprise needs and business requirements so left to right you are going okay and enterprise needs and business requirement increase in details from left to right that's why i am always specifying left to right okay and right to left is leveraging architecture components and building blocks so when you are working already okay so this is right to left when you are working already you may need to look into different standards now and then it is not one time activity and you will be creating this and you will be keep on looking into this now and then you are not stopping there isn't it so the architecture element in this left side are all reusable everything is very much reusable in your organization also if you are following this standard across all projects then your architecture repositories are also reusable right similarly this are definitely reusable because based on the specifications based on this specification based on this specification there are some standards which you will be building up so in a whole this whole structure is called as a continuum okay and there is no fixed 
uh, stage in the process you can go from here to there here to there here to there again here to there right so and different kind of architecture may exist uh, it, it, it is not restricted to TOGAF or uh, for a particular framework but TOGAF defines this is how you play or work with the enterprise continuum so enterprise continuum in the starting slide I said deals with architecture building blocks which you are seeing here which is ABVs and you are reaching to the solution continuum also isn't it so basically you create the ABVs in this level your architecture building blocks and then you will be reaching to the solution building blocks now what is the solution continuum the, this is the solution this is the uh, earlier one is architecture continuum and this is a solution continuum now what you do from foundation you take something right and then from common systems you take something from industry solution you take something and then you build your organization specific solutions so basically logical to physical is what you do and it is horizontal to vertical right what is horizontal to vertical it is IT technology focused okay it is IT technology focused and slowly you will be going towards the business focus isn't it so generalization to specialization here it is generalized here it is generalized here it is generalized finally in this level you are doing a specialization you are looking into specific things what your organization for your industry for your particular project is required so remember this and there is a word taxonomy which will be used in the following uh, slide and that is nothing but the architecture specification you you may hear this a lot of architects talking about the taxonomy it is nothing but the architecture specification they are talking about okay so at every point an architecture is defined in terms of design con concepts and building blocks available so that is the key thing which i wanted you to remember in this particular section okay now the most specific architecture definitely is sitting in the organization this is something you need to remember and the generic is here this is the most generic one based on this this common system and industry solution are a little more specific but that is the most generic okay so the end the spectrum whatever you are seeing in the solution building blocks as well okay uh, has certain cost and value based on which you will be deriving into your organization specific models right so in a nutshell you need to remember the architecture and solution continuum uh, what are the relations between them uh, when to use uh, the solutions um, depending upon uh, what kind of project you are working and uh, what are the standards you need to follow from the uh, industry or from common systems or from the foundation solution this is what you need to remember and as I said you I will be talking shortly on the foundation uh, system architecture so that you will be familiar how to look into that so foundation architecture consists of TRM and in TRM itself there is open group triple IRM which is a common system architecture I will show you so I will be talking both about common system architecture and foundation architecture in the following slides okay 